Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a footies card. This is a card from the promo. You guys can only pack this or either go to the market and get him. Actually, before we get any further into this video, I'll just tell you guys the price that he's going on in the PS and Xbox market and as well as the PC market. So Aramatori is going for around 25 to 24k in the PC market and on the console market is going for around 44k. So I th I would say that's a pretty cheap card and considering the fact that he's a 97 rated player it's actually pretty reasonable and he has 99 pace, 96 physical, 95 dribbling and he has 91 shooting as well and pretty good defensive stats. That is because as you guys can see you can play this wonderful card at a center back as well. Right wing, right mid, striker and center back are the four positions that you can play this card at. Now we are going to be testing him out in game in just a minute uh, at the right wing position. Uh, I have put him in the team. He is getting full cam so there is no worries in that. This is not a premium card. This is just normal footies card. So I have got full cam. I'll show you guys the squad in just a moment but before that let us look at the stats his playstyle his playstyle presses all that good stuff and get into the game with him soon so you guys can see he has he has only four star weak foot you know i thought he Trore will have like uh Trore will have like uh, around five star weak foot i didn't think he'll have five star skill more but it is what it is it is a good card five star skill more four star weak foot i'll take it preferred foot is right so four star weak foot from a right wing position how good will he be able to cover the ball in i'm pretty sure he can get a good rivella out of him but yeah but looking at the stats he gets 99 pace 91 shooting you are just look, gonna look at the base stats and then you guys can pause the screen and look at the boosted stats for full chem and yeah he has actually pretty good stats you know for a 97 rated card 99 pace 96 physical with 95 dribbling is actually pretty good so i'm pretty happy with the card uh, and I've been playing with this card. No, I've not been playing with this card much. I just used once. Uh, I used, just used him once, and I didn't. I mean, I didn't take the ball. I was playing him at right mid position. To be more honest, I'll be. I was playing him at right mid position, and usually right mid is too wide for me, and I usually don't go that wide. I just go forward. So right wing position will be interesting because I usually use a lot of right wing position. Uh, but yeah, looking at him, looking at the shooting, he has 99 shot par guys. Without any boost, he has 99 shot par and he has 90 long shots. He has 93 curve plus 4 for the boost and then 93 shot pass plus 4. And he has 96 attacking position after getting full cam. And if you guys see dribbling as well, 97 dribbling gone to 99. 95 ball control gone to 99. 94 dribbling gone to 98 and 97 strength on the physical gone to 99 and he has 92 stamina 96 jumping and all that stuff and even his defensive stats as you guys can see he gets plus four in defensive awareness stand tackle and slide tackle slide tackle i've not seen him go slide much because he is pretty built he is a short man not a shot he's still a foot taller than me but he for a general footballing you know point of view for a right winger i feel like he's a bit short and he's built too much for his height so i don't i feel like it'll be difficult for him to do slight tackles and stuff but he has good stand tackle and good defensive awareness as well so he will be, be he'll be decent at center back imagine a, a a center back with 99 pace guys that is insane and uh 92 uh, 99 strength as well that is actually pretty insane now looking at his Scoring, he has only uh, well, he has only power shot plus, so he doesn't even have finish shot, which is going to be a bit difficult for uh, you know scoring from outside the box at a weird angle. I usually like scoring like that, but other than that, he has long ball plus tiki taka. He has rapid plus trickster plus relentless plus, and he has flare. He has first touch. He has press proof. He has pretty much everything under ball control and he has quick step as well for physical he doesn't have triple or nothing he doesn't have aerial okay okay you know what kind of off-putting play styles and play style pluses but it is what it is i mean in game we're gonna test him out and see how he is gonna be in game at right wing position that is his preferred position to be honest so we'll be testing him out there so this is the team i'm gonna be using i need to finish an objective the 99 rated card which is also being in progress you guys will get a video on that 99 rated objective card as well soon so make sure you guys be on the lookout for that 
मे बी आई मैट नॉट मेक अ रिव्यू आई एम जस्ट यू नो आस्किंग माई सेल्फ सो प्लीज डू लीव अ कॉमेंट एंड टेलिंग मी फिगर इज वॉन्ट अ सी अ रिव्यू ऑन हर द नाइनटी नाइन रेटेड लेफ्ट विंग द नाइनटी नाइन रेटेड लेफ्ट विंग इन द ऑब्जेक्टिव प्लीज लेट मी नो फिग इज वॉन्ट एन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑन हर आई एम ट्राइंग टू फिनिश द ऑब्जेक्टिव बट या दिस इज द टीम एम यूजिंग यूर ऑलमोस्ट डन विद द एवोल्यूशन फॉर एल शरावे एल शरावे हेज गॉन अप टू नाइनटी नाइन Pace, he has 95 dribbling, he has 91 passing and 87 shooting. And as you see, I have dead eye on him, so his shooting stats have just been boosted to the to insanity, guys. He has 97 shot per after giving him chemistry cell. That is actually insane. So I am really happy with this card, and I might be doing another evolution on him as well. So yeah, let us go in game and test out Aramatra Ore. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Initially, he has good uh, ball control. Like, just looking at the way he runs, the way he is able to keep the ball to his feet and stuff, it is good. But his run style is weird. I don't know for some reason, the way he runs is a bit weird. So when when I look at him running, I just get a bit distracted. But he has good shot par, guys. 99 shot par. It looks like 99 shot par. Finishing. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, shot power looks good and pace also. Acceleration looks good. Spin speed we don't know yet because we just not uh, run much with them. We just done like the initial boost thing. But so far, acceleration is good. Shot power is good. I am I am telling this all within five minutes. That is the beauty of playing uh, squad battles for doing player reviews, guys. Some of you guys might be thinking. Uh, rivals is the best way to you know see if the player is good or not. But I can tell you guys, just from uh, using them in squad battles, they just you know each player even in game give out a vibe when you use them. How comfortable they are when you use them, how easy it is to control them. All that just while playing without doing any tactical adjustments, without doing anything, just put them in a squad and then just you know play with them. They'll the players the cards will give out a vibe. I don't know if you guys. Uh, have uh, have you know experienced that? But as soon as you use a card, it will give out a vibe. So and Aramatore is giving a good vibe so far. He has good passes, he has good running speed, uh, running speed. He has good acceleration. He has you know he has good stats all over the place. That's why I feel like spending like I'm a PC player. I if if I had to buy him after seeing somebody's review for 24k or 25k, I would. Definitely go by him because he's a high-rated player. He you can easily get full cam with him, and after getting full cam, even if you decide to put any particular chemistry style to like increase his shooting or increase his defending and stuff, if you're using him as center back, he will go to crazy numbers. So that is one main reason I am suggesting you guys please do watch till the end of the video and make sure you guys. You know, don't miss out on the card. That's what I'm saying. He has good pace. He has really good pace, and he has good dribbling as well. He has good dribbling. Now ball control, we will test him out more on the ball control aspect. But dribbling so far so good. Pace insane. Passing really good. Shooting insane. Shot power is really good, and even shot pass is really good. Uh, we might have to test a bit of crossing and stuff just to you know. I don't know how many of you guys will be crossing with them. I feel like having 99 pace and good dribbling. You're better off just cutting in uh, from the left back, like you know, just cut in and pass it to the striker or cut in and score from the edge. I think that's the best thing to do. So he has good skill moves as well. Now I don't know how to do a lot of skill moves, but as far as what I've tried, he looks pretty good. The finishing is a bit off. I don't know what the finishing stats were. So the finishing looks a bit weird, but his shooting is really good. It it said he had power shot plus, right? We have to test out how is at what you know intensity his ball moves when he when he uses the power shot plus. Accuracy, I don't really care about at this point. I just want to see how fast it goes, how fast it leaves his feet, because that will determine a lot for me. That will tell me a lot about his uh, shooting stats in general. Okay, it's half time. I have played with him a lot. This opponent is too irritating. I'm not able to take the ball and try to get a power shot off him. But I've played with him so far. Dribbling looks really, really comfortable to you know use him. And even the ball control is pretty decent. His shot pass is really good. His uh, the same thing that I said. Like within the first 20 minutes of in-game time, what I said the same thing. Everything is good. I just need to test his crossing and his power shot. So 
So I'm just trying to, you know, dribble past these people to get a opening so that I can do that and show you guys. It's just irritating when you have to do player reviews against higher rated squad. Uh, you know, just to keep, just to make sure you guys don't feel like this is an easy thing. I'm actually genuinely trying to show you guys the best cards available. If the card is not good enough, I okay, that is a good cross. That is a good cross. Anybody there other than El Sarave at that point is getting a good header on it. That's a good cross. So yeah, like I said, I'm actually trying my best to show you guys the best card. And if the card is not good, I will tell you guys the card is not good. If it's not worth it, if it's not worth doing the SBC or if it's not worth doing the grind for objective, I'll tell you guys, don't worry about it. And if the card is worth, you know, playing in uh, rivals, I'll let you guys know that as well. This El Sharave card that you guys are seeing, I am using that card in uh, rivals. It's a good card. It's a really good card and just like that, Trore is also a really good card. Uh, I don't know, like there might be better. See, now we have, um, uh, who's that 98 rated footies icon that we got from the season ladder. You can use him as well. I, I forgot the name. I'm, I'm getting a blank screen and I think, I think it's Jezinho. It's not Jezinho. Garincha, I think. Yeah, Garincha. My bad. It, it's Garincha. So you can use Garincha as well. Garincha is a really good uh, card that most of us would have completed the season pass by now and if you haven't make sure you guys go play a bunch of games and complete the season pass make sure you guys go check check go to the different objectives you know you have season you have life you have um, all these things right make sure you guys go to each and everything and see where you get xps and just focus on completing that you guys will finish season pass in no time i finished this season pass while there were more eight, eight more days remaining so it's easy to complete the season pass guys make sure you guys go complete it you'll get a 99 Haaland as well but yeah just after seeing that i am sure that i can't do uh long you know long curve shots from outside the box to the ram that is a let down but so far the card looks really good now i'm gonna end the video i feel like the video is becoming a bit too long and how many of you guys are actually watching till now if you guys are still watching i really appreciate it uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I think next video will be another player review. After that, there'll be a pack opening. After that, we might go back to player reviews for for some time. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And then take care, stay safe, stay motivated, and keep smiling, guys. Bye bye.